Uh, my name's Peter. Um, I'm 39, live in Cardiff with my family, my wife Bethan and uh, Ella, my daughter, who's eight, and Charlie's six. I was diagnosed with a rare form of lung cancer in 2018. I'm too young to have lung cancer. Even the surgeon didn't believe that it looked yeah. like cancer at the time. Even looking, eyeballing the cancer, I actually still thought it was infection uh, because it just doesn't look like cancer. Look, looks it's like quite infection. a rare one, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. We had a, a meeting planned with the doctor post chemo. Um, when he said the chemo hadn't quite worked, mm -hmm. um, but also we found out that um, it could be terminal. Uh, which is uh, a shock at the time, wasn't it, yeah. really? So, uh, a, a, a big shock. Just uh, felt like the colour had drained from the world. It was, everything looked grey to me. Finding out that it was terminal was, was pretty horrific. Um, and almost surreal. Uh, it didn't, like hearing the words, um, I think first we just didn't believe it. So I think we probably went into panic, didn't we? Life was, it was weird for a couple of weeks. It was like, it was happening and we were in it, but we weren't really in it. Um, I remember going for a run, trying to clear my head and just literally sitting down and crying <laughs> at the top of the street because it was, it, it's the literal description of overwhelming. It's you can't quite process it, and it can't just do anything. It really feels funny. horrible. It feels, it feels desperately horrible, wasn't it? And this is the first time I think either of us have ever been in a situation that we couldn't fix, um, and that that also felt. It's difficult being told by the medical profession that you're yeah. beyond help, isn't yeah. it? Really. Yeah. Um, yeah. In this day and age, you expect the doctor to have the answer. To always have something they can fix, can yeah. Yeah. Get out of any problem. Yeah. Daily life has changed massively. I'm not working. You haven't worked since diagnosis, have you? So um, I've been able to focus all my time on, on the family, really. So um, it's been good to spend more time with the kids. But and... also, cancer does keep you busy. The amount of appointments and treatment and... There's, there's lots of th different things going on, yeah. Yeah, that we've had periods of time where we've gone to Surrey three days a week. It, it would be impossibly hard to fit in work with the asks that cancer brings you. We don't spend a lot of time ironing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, there is <laughs> not a lot of time spent on ironing. <laughs> There's no time for ironing. <laughs> uh. I think you've always been in insurance, haven't you? So uber cautious. Um, but then having our daughter probably meant that we were a bit more open to spending money on things that we didn't feel particularly necessary. And open to um, the idea of Protecting the family, I suppose, yeah, really. Yeah, there was something worth it. Um, yeah. I had a meeting with uh, an insurance broker and um, he made me see the light in terms of uh, yep. um, take out a, a life insurance policy just in case the worst should happen. I remember the conversation. And he convinced me to up, he convinced me to up the up the amount. It was an amount I never thought I would need. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it was a premium that um, was quite stretching. When, when we moved to Wales, Yeah. I nearly cancelled that policy. We trimmed a lot of other direct debits, yeah. but not that one. And yeah. uh, it was a very lucky decision. Yeah. Yeah. I had the paperwork out to cancel it, but um, I never really wanted to go without it. Really, I thought I'd want the money in case you died. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's all true. And here we are. And here we are. <laughs> uh, we had the policy for only about four years before we needed it in the end. It's funny, it's one of those things, isn't it? You think you'll never need it until you get old. Um, nothing will ever happen to me. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, only, only for about four years or so. The insurance payment's been a massive thing, hasn't it? It's, it's such a, a huge help, mainly because 
uh, we've been able to try lots of different treatments. Well, it literally has saved your life. That uh, yeah. wouldn't have been available. You know, some of them yeah. have been astronomically expensive, really, and completely unaffordable mm -hmm. in the normal run of things. But what we haven't done is put a penny of it towards the mortgage. Um, <laughs> all of the things um, are so much more important than uh, in this situation. And I think we had to be in it to realise that, didn't we? Yeah, it's the thing that most people seem to worry about, isn't yeah. it? How, how are you going to pay the mortgage off? But um, yeah. you Not can worry a penny. about that. <laughs> <laughs> Not a penny on the mortgage, yeah. Are we allowed to have jokes? <laughs> you <have> jokes. <laughs> so Pete's obviously been off, um, as we said earlier, since he got diagnosed because working around all of that would be really hard. But actually it's quite hard for me as well. So I've had periods through different uh, points where I've had a few weeks off through normal sick. Um, but definitely felt this year that I needed to actually have a longer time off um, because it's just mentally overwhelming and um, supporting being part of the family but then also having your your normal day-to-day -day requirements of work it's difficult to carry on normally isn't it yeah 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 it's difficult to have the space that my you, your mind needs to be in work it just you know it, it wasn't able to do it justice really um and that's another thing that having the money in the bank meant that it was an easy decision that we could make um you had the option to choose that yeah rather than struggling through and, exactly um, doing a bad job and and making myself sick as well because I think that was that was when I really at the start of the year realized that it, if I broke that wouldn't be helpful for anyone um so I had to make a decision of how I can make sure I'm still okay um and that enabled to do that is a, a big thing isn't it I think our advice for people not considering insurance would be absolutely do it. there could not be a wiser decision that we made take as much cover as you can afford yeah having felt what what impact and the difference it makes in our lives and it's one of those expenses that you think you don't need but anything can be around the corner without one to sound too no absolutely too grim yeah you um it's something you don't really think about but it's been a life-changing difference to us